I'm here with men's soccer head coach Rob Thompson of UNH, who's entering his 20th season here as the coaching staff, 18th as head coach. What has your journey been like here at UNH? Uh, exciting, uh, challenging, but we've had some good teams, and I think we've got a pretty good team this year, so I'm excited about getting on with my 20th year. What are your thoughts on the season thus far? I know it's been pretty interesting with three double overtime games, two resulting in wins, which is always a good time. What has it been like for you so far? Uh, same, pretty exciting. I think the guys have bought into what we're trying to achieve. Uh, I do think that in college soccer, you got to be ready to go the, the full time period, go into the overtime and, and be strong. So our fitness is getting better, and I think we've had some success late in the games, and that's important for team psychology, also the – the uh, the mindset that we're going to never you know never never uh, quit and fight to the end. So I think it's been pretty success successful so far. Talk about the leadership role. I know there's two senior captains, Josh Bronner, Jordan Thomas. Talk about what they bring to the team to the team dynamic. Well, they've been through a lot of success uh, and a tough tough year last year. So I think they've gone the full circle. Uh, they're competitive. Uh, the, the team believes in them, and uh, they've really stepped up this, the, you know, it's early so far, but they've really stepped up. They've had important roles for our team this year. They're healthy. They're uh, playing playing big minutes and uh, have been, you know, reasonably successful so far. And about the other seniors, the other four seniors, I'm sure they play a big role as well, even though they're not captains. What can you say about them? Well, I, I do think we have a good senior class. Uh, last year we had a young team. This year we've got six good, good, strong leaders that have been through a lot of success and had you know some tough times too. So I think it helps the team with these young guys. They look up to these guys in terms of how to handle defeats, how to get into overtime, uh, a lot of those things. So uh, you know we, we do have a great senior class and the potential to do some th good things this year with those guys. Looking ahead of the schedule, you have UMass this Saturday evening at home, which is nice. How are you preparing for them? What can we expect? Well, it's going to be a close game. I think you can expect a real competitive game. It's a regional rival. We've had some real tough, hard-fought games. That's the way they are. That's the way we are, blue-collar teams, that, that will leave it all on the field. So I expect a real tough battle, an exciting game. Uh, there'll be a lot of fans, and, it, you know, it's a night game at 7 p.m. So uh, it's good to be home. We've been on the road a lot this year, and so I know the guys are excited about being at home and playing in front of people that they know. For the rest of the 2000 schedule, conference play, what excites you most about the conference play? Uh, it's going to be close. I think that there's no clear-cut favorite. Uh, I think uh, going into our conference, it's a strong conference, but it's it's winnable, and every game surprises happen. So I think the, the we're trying to get ready and, and kind of get our identity uh, coming up to the conference. I, we're starting to get that. We're not there yet, but I do think that uh, we're on our way to kind of figuring out what we're good at and what we need to work on uh, come to conference play. All right, any expectations for your senior class in their last season here? Uh, just play as hard as they can, be, be good leaders, show these young guys what it means to be a UNA soccer player on and off the field, and uh, I feel uh, that this, this group can do that. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you.